We're here in London, CVP, and we've come down to see the new Canon R5C camera, the cinema camera. I think it doesn't actually release till March, but we've also bought this dual fisheye lens with us from Canon, who have been rather kind in lending us this for a few months. We're going to make lots of content with this. We're going to go inside now, clip it on, and see how it works with the new camera. This is the R5C with the newer back area, which is looking cool. And over here, obviously this is the standard 2D lens that goes on. And obviously over here, we've got the dual fisheye lens on the same camera. Um, but we're just gonna do a bit of test footage with this and have a look at this camera, see how this camera shoots this camera. So one of the best features that we're really excited about is the fact that the R5 had a record limit of 30 minutes. Now, the R5C has unlimited record time. Just touching on the 60 FPS thing and the 30 FPS again, when we were at Warwick Racecourse with R5 filming the horses coming by left to right, we could really notice the 30 frames, so I'm really excited to shoot with this at 60 FPS and we will hopefully see a lot smoother objects inside the scenes. So, that was a pre-production model that we got our hands on then and we managed to put the lens on it and have a little play around, but it was a pre-production model. So we're hoping that what we did in there is gonna look great, because we shot some 3D 180 uh, content at 60 FPS, which we're gonna have as well for you to download and have a look at in a VR headset. For us, it's really important that we, we make people aware that they can see this content in a headset. That's the way you get the best out of this lens when you see the content in a headset. So we also had Barry looking at the camera and giving us some of the detailed, more in-depth spec chat about the camera, but we were filming it on the 3D lens. So we think that's gonna be a really cool video for you to look at. There'll be a link in the description of the video so you can download that as an MP4 and put it onto a headset. But yeah, I'm really excited and I'm looking forward to seeing the content in a headset and I'm looking forward to using that camera more and more.